So you remember that video where I recorded the whole thing and then it turned out that there was no audio? That, well, I mean, of course you don't, because it just happened. So let's do it again. Welcome back to another Snoop Vloggy Vlog. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. What I've decided to do is to start kind of a weekly vlog where I just keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the studio, things that we're doing that are and aren't working, and also just other cool projects and things that come along. So short videos to just sort of keep you up to date. And one of the things I've decided to do is to not produce these in 4K. That takes a lot of extra time. And since I've got a business to run, I kind of wanted to cut it down and keep it as simple as I possibly could. So enjoy the high definition on your phone that's that big or whatever, but you're welcome. Business is starting to pick up again at the studio. The calendar's starting to fill up with appointments. Still mostly just individuals in the studio, but we're also servicing teams. So people who are working remotely are coming in all from the same company, just one at a time. And that's actually working out really well. So I'll put a link to another video that I made for the studio's channel that sort of sells that, that pitches that to our clients. And you can check that out and maybe use that if, if that'll be helpful to you or whatever. Also got a very cool seamless paper organizer this week. And as it turns out, it also fits my other backdrops that I have, which are pretty cool. So getting the studio a little more organized, thats that's been a blessing. I really do dig it. Now I thought about making one. And so somebody's going to comment and say, you know, Gary, you can make one of those. Like I did. I look, look, it was like $55 uh, from Savage Universal. And I, I just sat for a minute and I calculated the time and then the cost of just buying the foam and making one myself and then the double sided tape. And you can't make it cheaper. I mean, you could probably save a few bucks, but if you add in your time, you're, you're losing money. So anyway, I'll put a link to that. I, I think it's pretty great and it took me 10 seconds to install it and it just cleared up a whole lot of floor space in my studio. So check that out. I'm sure there's some B-roll footage in here somewhere of like gliding along and showing you all the cool backdrops or something like that. But anyway, so enjoy that beautiful footage. Also this week, got me a new lens. You're looking at me on it right now. This is the RF 35 1.8 and I'm going to be producing a video to review it. I'm going to shoot with this thing for the next couple of weeks and give you an in-depth review of what I think. This is the cheapest lens in the RF lineup. This is going to go on my uh, R5 and on my EOS RP. So uh, more coming on that, I guess. Now, one of the things that we've been dealing with as a business, like a lot of you out there, is managing the pandemic with people coming into the studio. And so we've made that part of our messaging to our clients. We've built it into our workflow, what we're doing to protect them, what's expected of them when they come to the studio. And our county, Orange County, Florida, has actually been very cool about providing graphics and other stuff that you can print and display. But the problem with printing something up and just kind of taping it to the wall or taping it to the door of the studio is, you ever been into a restaurant where they have just signs taped to stuff? You know, it always just seems kind of chintzy to me. And so we wanted to kind of make it a little nicer. So I printed this paper with this, you know, flyer that just sort of says what we're doing and reminds people to wear a mask when they come into the studio. But it's been taped to the front door of the studio for a while. And it's getting kind of chintzy. I just, I just don't love the way that it looks. As it turns out, I have a solution. In my office, I have the Canon Image ProGraph 2100. This is a 24 inch wide format printer. And I got this thing right before the shutdown, right before the pandemic kind of closed all these businesses. So it's just been kind of sitting dormant. And it's been my desire for a while to start printing more stuff in my business. But since I run a commercial studio and most of my clients want digital, I've been looking for creative ways to deploy this printer. Now, this is where my sign comes in. I'm gonna make this make sense, I promise. So, all my clients are commercial. In fact, pre-COVID, we were shooting a lot of events. We have a lot of clients that are businesses. And what if I could create a product that I could sell that would bring more income into the studio and allow me to serve my clients better while printing? So I found out that Canon makes a peel and stick, I'm reading this off my notes here, a peel and stick repositionable paper for this printer. Now that's pretty rad. So basically you can print on it and then it makes stickers, kind of however big you wanna make them. So I can make a window cling, I can make a sign that goes on the floor, I can make a sticker that'll go over the laptop logo on the back of my laptop, and all of it is repositionable. We can reuse them, so that's pretty rad. So I'm gonna use making a new sign for my front door as sort of a test project for this because if I can turn this into something that I can sell, then that's pretty awesome.
take. A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I just got back inside from installing my peel and stick repositionable sign. And before we go any further, let me just remind you that I have a weekly photography podcast. It's called Photobomb and I co-host it with my good friend, Boo Ray Perry, and I'll put a link to that and his excellent YouTube channel in the description of this video. Also like, subscribe, hit the notifications, all that jazz, and just do it so we can like move on, you know? Just just do it, you know? You know you, you're still here, you know you like it, just do that part. Now, moving on, full disclosure, I, full disclosure, 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 full disclosure, full disclosure, I went through the whole process of printing and making the sign and hanging it up and before I went back and did the B-roll that you just saw, and just to make sure that I didn't screw it up, you know, cause video or whatever. But, um, so I have the original one right here. It's still actually stuck to the wall. So this is, there you go. This material is really, really durable. It's, it won't, won't rip or tear easily. You can like, you can be a jerk to it. You can talk about its mom and it'll still be there for you, you know, like, and it sticks, it re-sticks. It'll keep on sticking, look. I can definitely make a product out of this. I just wanna think about all the other applications I can use this for and how I can deploy it in my business. And it leads me to my next question. What else is there that I can put in this printer that I don't know about? Anyway, that's what's going on in the studio. Hopefully some of that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, any ideas, stuff you do with your printer that's awesome, load them up in the comments, let me know, and I will answer those questions in the next vlog, vlog, vloggy, vlog thing in the next video. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.